What's up, Roadie Foodie fam? We are out here, guys. Welcome back to our channel. We have... <laughs> we got something a little different. Obviously, we have Lola in the background. We are at Arigna's. Two locations, Pawtucket, NP. That's North Providence. Uh, I saw on their menu, I was like, you know, and they also do coal fire pizzas. So I saw this called the Road... Hope I'm saying this right. The, the Road Dog? It's essentially like a New York system pizza. I mean, New York system wiener right on here. And they use Soggies, which is a local Rhode Island uh, delicacy. It's got to have that snap. So I'm going to take a quick bite because I'm starving. Like Rhode, my Rhode Island accent comes out. <laughs> starving. All right, guys, look at that. It's got the Soggies. It's got the mustard. It's got that minced, that minced uh, beautiful onions, meat sauce down the hatch mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. like Luke do you have to dip everything in a ranch <laughs> it's funny that you ask yes I do mmm A little dip dip. Mm. It's a big pizza, too, man. It's like, what was that, 12 inches, 14 inches? About 14 inches. I gotta take one more. I need one more slice down the hatch, guys. This is really good. Oh man. It tastes like they add a little extra, there's an extra seasoning on here too. Mmm. Hold up. See if we can prop that up for you guys. Not too weird. I just have to hold it up. Oh man. Mm. Oh wait, what day are we on? <laughs> 74. 100 local restaurants, 100 days. You're probably asking yourself, Luke, what the hell is this thing? What's this red thing popping off over here? I'll get to that in a minute. Unless you cheated and you read, you read the description already. Okay. So when I call it an order, I always ask, any specials popping off? Because specials are usually the creativity of the chef or the culinary team. Maybe some things are in season. Roddy Food is always down to eat some specials, guys. Came with the sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, though. Look out. Oh, okay. Oh, the tartar sauce. So, it's basically... <laughs> Basically like a clam cake, right? I mean, this is, guys, this is, this is like a freaking tennis ball. Look at this thing. This is another guy over here. Looks like a football. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like I'm having leftovers. So on the phone, she goes, yeah, we have um, lobster and corn fritters. And in my mind, I'm going fritters. All right, am I in the mood for fritters? She said the mag magic words. It's like a clam cake, son. I was like, word? Let's do it. So, down the hatch. I'm going to try one bite. Obviously, that's a little lobster peek, peek, peeking out right there. I'm going to try a quick bite, and then, and then we'll go into the dip dip. Mm. 
Honestly, I almost wish I had some chowder right now. Lola, you want? You feel like going for a ride? We can go get some chowder. Hmm. See all that corn in there? These are big boys too, man. I asked the, <laughs> I asked the lady who answered the phone. I was like, "Is this more like an appetizer? It was like a meal?" She's like, "It's like an app." I was like, "Dang!" And then I got these, and I was like, "By the way, it comes in this huge thing. There are like five of them." You have five softballs worth of lobster corn clam cakes, man. Oh, my God. It's got a decent amount of uh, lobster in there, too. All right, dip, dip time. So they must be used to, like, big portions over at uh, Arignos. Oh, yeah. You guys have to have it with the tartar sauce. Oh my god, I didn't think that was gonna go together. I'll be honest with you. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can hear it, like the crispiness. Mmm. Something about corn, too, that I just love. We had so much corn growing up, man. I'm surprised I don't live in Iowa. So what I also, also like to do, guys, is I like to go on their website, right? I like to go to restaurants' websites to see how much information, how less information. <laughs> Some restaurants are like, here's our website. Figure it out. But I appreciate the ones that take the time. To put, like, a little bit about themselves. Because restaurants have personalities, right, guys? Anybody can sell a pizza. But what's the personality behind a pizza? What's behind the name? That's what I want to know. And I might be... <laughs> I might be overthinking this way too much. But I think restaurants... I think restaurants are like people. You know, we all have our hours of <laughs> We all have our hours of operation, right? We all have our hours of hey, we're not taking any orders right now. Oh, you want my attention? Uh call back tomorrow. <laughs> call back tomorrow. Uh so same thing uh with restaurants. You know, I like to know a little bit behind uh you know, some restaurants you have to dig. So I went to Arigna's Facebook page. And I think this is where I went. And in the description, it gives you kind of the the meaning behind the name, Rignos. And by the way, it's also owned by the folks over that own Murphy's Law in Pawtucket as well. You know, Murphy's Law is that place. If I'm thinking it's the same place, it's that place that's when you're in 95, it's like on the side. And I think it's connected to a hotel, I think. And... So Rignas is the name of a, I hope I don't butcher this, but it's the name of the oldest or the last working mine in Ireland. That's what's up. See, the history nerd in me right now is going beepity boop. So that was really, I can't wait to go back home and read up about Arigna, the, 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 the mine and how it all kind of came together. So I find that very fascinating. So 100% uh, kudos to the staff for coming up with the name because it's not just like, you know, uh, Pawtucket Irish pub or something like that. Mm. I want to know what that seasoning is. It's almost like a, it's almost like a, um, like an Italian seasoning. Mm. Mm. I know what you guys are thinking. Luke, where's the money back? Here's the money back. Road dog, soggy dogs in there. Corn, lobster chowder. Chowder. <laughs> Can you tell I want some chowder now? This is a special, so I don't know how long they're gonna have that. 
This bad boy, I think, is there all the time. A little ranch. Yeah. Say a quick prayer to the food gods. Cheers. Down the hatch. Mmm. Can I say it a third time? Mm. Essentially, that's Rhode Island in a bite. <laughs> Got the soggy hot dogs from Rhode Island, the New York system style pizza, with clam cake with some lobster and corn in there. Oh my God. I mean, they, they fry these to perfection, guys. Look at that. That's what you want. You want that, that hard exterior with that soft interior. Fully cooked, ready for perfections. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, also... forgot to mention this we've decided as a team we're gonna do a facebook live at 1500 facebook i keep saying that youtube live as long as they let us we're gonna do a youtube live at 1500 i know we're like super close to 1400 so tell your friends tell your co-workers Follow Rody Foods on uh, on YouTube, and we'll get that popping for you guys real soon. I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna set up a day where it's like most of us, and we'll like take like 15 minute turns. Or do you guys just want like three of us, and uh, you know we'll be there like the whole time. Honestly, I don't even know how long those really last. Are we supposed to like last an hour or something? We don't want to bore you guys either. Mm. Honestly, it doesn't even need the ranch. That, that's just me being me. Mm. Wow. So if you guys saw in the last video, I picked up The Alchemist. <clears throat> Fantastic book. Loop, have you, have you cracked it open yet? No, I haven't. I'm talking to the <laughs> invisible person right over here. No, I haven't. Please don't judge me. But I will. Gotta have Barnes & Nobles. I was actually nervous that they weren't open. Because I really wanted the book, like, faster than Amazon. I wanted it, like, that day. And they, um, <clears throat> they had it. We literally, Chris and I went through the whole damn place. And it took us about an hour to find it. <laughs> We're also very stubborn. Um, <laughs> We're very stubborn. We did not want to ask for help. We're like, we're going to find this on our own. Doesn't matter if it takes us an hour. Hmm. Kind of the sad part, though, is I remember going to Barnes & Noble's a long, long time ago. And I feel like they had more books in there, you know? They, like, gutted the middle of the store. And now they're just trying to flip, like... It was really weird. Like, flip their... What are they called? The Nooks? They were trying to flip nooks. And they were also trying to like pedal like weirdy as seen on as <clears throat> as seen on TV products. And I looked at Carissa, I got I was like, what the hell? What is this doing in a bookstore? So really weird. But I get it. Hey man, business is tough right now. Mmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. I'm a huge supporter of the library, too. Let's see if I get my library card in here. Yep. Beep, beep, boop. They do this thing where, like, you pay five bucks a year and you become a f friends of the East Providence Library. I was like, five bucks? Let's do it. I want to be a friend. But a lot of folks don't know that the libraries offer so much more. It's not just books, guys. They offer so many programs for, for children or folks that are looking for jobs. Um, it's just, it's a, such a great resource that I hope that we hold on to them, man. Libraries is one of those things too that I that I hope to you know as as our platform gets bigger to see what what I can do, what Roadie Foodie can do in a very small way. What can we do? Is it tasting events at libraries? You know, after hours, get a couple wine companies to come in, give out some samples, little little wine and read, <gasps> wine and read. That's dope. Everybody in the. <laughs> Roadie Foodie family, write that down. Wine and read. Um, little Pinot and Pages. I don't know, that wasn't as strong. I'm trying here, guys. A uh, little Sip. Sip and See. No, I don't like that either. Um, wine. Yeah, I don't know. Wine and Read. <laughs> this is the best I could. I should have just retired off the first one. But libraries, guys, we can't lose our libraries. And we can't lose, like, I saw on the news like a while ago, like post office. All these institutional things that, that we have as part of our infrastructure is uh, f for us as, like, a species we need. So libraries are going to be added to my list of things that I, I'm, I'm a saver, guys. So and what I mean by that is I... I, I there's certain causes out there that I just want to jump in and save and... You know, I, I wish that I had more resources um, and, and I wish that I had more um, more influence um, to help out. But we try to help out in a small way that we can. That, that's why every every event that Roadie Foodie does, it always has some sort of uh, nonprofit angle to it uh, or attached to it. Um, you know, something as small as like, hey, you know, five dollars from each ticket goes to this cause or, um, hey, yeah, you would love to come set up at our events and, and sell raffles and you guys, you know, you know, hopefully it raises a few grand and, you know, we, we try to do every little thing that we can uh, to give back because as cheesy as it sounds, guys, and I know I say a lot of cheesy stuff, but it's things that I really, truly believe in. And that is if we all do a little bit, we can do a lot. You know, um, it goes back to that old saying, but it's something that I truly believe. Um, so libraries is another thing. Why did I get into libraries? Oh, <laughs> you guys remember when Camilla was like, let me wait, let me ask you the question first, because if you get into something else, you're going to go way off this tangent. <clears throat> Does the fam know exactly how I am? Yes. So the reason I brought that up was uh, I was going to uh, check out that book. Um, the Alchemist, but I decided it was it, it was such a classic that it's something that I wanted. I wanted it. I wanted to have a copy of it, and I'm I'm in the process right now, too, guys. You know, one of the other things, if you saw the last video, I told you guys about my um, my New Year's resolutions. One of them was to read a, read a little bit more, which it's took me half of the year margarita ate uh eight margarita read eight books during the last quarter uh, during the last quarter the current quarter during uh you know when we were all locked down that's amazing good for her <clears throat> so she's way ahead of me on that one of the things that i wanted to get back into is i've always been a minimalist i've never really collected things or if something wasn't as as if something wasn't of use at that particular moment in my life I'll, 
you know, give it to savers, donate it to a friend who needs it or wanted it. That's me. You know, if I buy a shirt, I'm going to get rid of a shirt. <clears throat> if I buy a pair of shoes, I'm going to get rid of a pair of shoes. That's just the type of person that I am. But lately, I was going... <laughs> I was going through some of my stuff. I'm like, why do I have all this crap? There, there's a, there's a, uh, a thought process out there that if something doesn't give you joy, um, gotta, gotta get rid of it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing soon. Um, so stick, make sure you guys are sticking to your resolutions. I'm getting, good. I'm gonna jump back into my minimalism uh, that I enjoy. There's just something about a clean look that I, that I love. Uh, it declutters the mind at the same time. And I know that you might use this one thing one or two times a year. Uh, but like I have a button maker. What am I doing with a button maker to make buttons? <laughs> I'm going to make roti footy buttons and give them out. Oh my God. I can't believe I have that thing. Uh, <clears throat> I have a little guitar that was gifted to me five years ago. I don't play the guitar. I want a ukulele. I don't even want a guitar right now. So, you know, I might be switching that out. So it's things like that guys so make sure you stick to your resolutions i'm gonna let you guys go because it is hot city baby day 74 arignas i love the name this road dog pizza i'll be back for that soon i just got some mustard on me it's like a real new york system hot dog all right mm. so check them out online uh day 74 please like comment subscribe i love you guys as always Daily videos. I think we're going to continue them. I'm, I still got to talk to the team after the 100 days and see kind of where we want, you know, depending on if there's a lot of traction on uh, on the channel, uh, we'll continue doing them. Um, so if you guys, you know, uh, always give it a thumbs up, leave a quick comment, uh, share it with your friends. We were trying to do a goal of hitting 2,000 subscribers. Um, or 1500 subscribers by the end of the 100 uh, days uh so i don't know if we're gonna hit that i think it was 1500 subscribers i don't know if we're gonna hit it but if you guys can help out in a little way that'd be great and then maybe we'll at the end of the 100 days and we hit 1500 subscribers we'll do that live and it'll be kind of like a double whammy be a little, little fun we'll make some margaritas and have some fun all right till next time guys love you be well eat well and as always manifest what you want in this world i'm telling you I know that sounds like Lupe. Stop it. You're not a guru. I'm not a guru. But it's just crazy how your mind can switch on. So be well, eat well, and take care of each other. Ciao.